Hi everyone, my name is Bhaskar Gupta. I'm working as a technical product manager for VMware and today I'll give an overview of how to deploy VRealize Operations Manager Tenant App, RabbitMQ, Usage Meter using VMware Cloud Provider Lifecycle Manager 1.1. Basically, this is uh, a continuation of another demo video where I talked about the deployment process of VMware Cloud Director using VMware Cloud Provider Lifecycle Manager 1.1. But in this video, I'll be talking about the rest of the products and ways to deploy them using VMware Cloud Provider Lifecycle Manager 1.1. A quick introduction about VMware Cloud Provider Lifecycle Manager. So this tool provides deployment day zero, initial configuration day one, and day two operations for cloud provider products like VCD, Usage Meter, VDLize Operations Manager Tenant App. Where in the day two operations in VMware Cloud Provider Lifecycle Manager 1.1 includes product upgrade, certificate management, node management, as you can see here, this is typical sample collection which is available from VMware site. Now if you are thinking of the deployment of VLS Operations Manager Tenant App and all the products, so this is where you can go ahead and do that using VMware Cloud Provider Lifecycle Manager. Now talking about the VMware Cloud Provider Lifecycle Manager 1.1 deployment as well and the configuration which I had mentioned in my previous video. You can refer this link and you can refer the VMware documentation for more details. In this demo video, we won't be covering that part. It is the deployment of the other products is what we'll be talking about. We'll start with VRealize Operations Manager Tenant App. Before the deployment, we have to make sure that VRealize Operations Manager must be deployed and accessible by VRealize Operations Manager Tenant App. VMware Cloud Director integration should be configured completely and the management pack for VMware Cloud Director must be installed in VRealize Operations Manager. As you can see here under deployment, there are various options. One, we can create and we can also import an existing deployment of VRealize Operations Manager tenant app. And if you click on the body here, so it's pretty simple we have to define the product id uh, integration id with vdops vcd and then rabbitmq and tenant app proxy details now the node details with the ips and finally the deployment infrastructure the vcenter details in which it will be deployed and we need to click on send and we'll get a task id and which can be referenced later to uh, fetch the existing task details for any error in the deployment or to troubleshoot further to, and to know the existing status of the deployment. Coming to the import options, it's pretty much the same. You can include all the details of an existing environment of the tenant app. And the upgrade parts here, we can see that there are various options. We can upgrade VDF's tenant app. We can just provide the 2.5.0 version, and we have to make sure that the OVA and all the files are copied uh, in the respective directory in the VSPLCM host prior to the upgrade, and we should be good. And manage certificates, we can get the existing certificates, and we can also update an existing certificate uh, of the VDF's tenant app. So these are some of the day two activities and the configuration steps which can be performed as you can see here like we can get all the VDOPS tenant app nodes and we can get a single node as well. We can update a node basically the CPU and memory. So next we'll talk about usage meter. So similarly from this postman collection we can perform this task like create usage meter and import usage meter but if you talk about you know some of the prerequisites like to be able to register the usage meter for the supporting products the usage meter appliance must be registered with VMware's commerce portal and this has to be done manually after deploying the usage meter appliance the usage meter integration cannot be configured before the VMware Cloud Provider Commerce Portal registration. 
and secondly the DNS the DNS a and PTI records and we have to make sure we configure that uh, for the clients to enable forward and reverse lookup of the IP address and the host names now once we have gone through all the prerequisites so that the usage meter works properly and we get all the information the billing information and so on so we need we can go ahead and uh, create the environment uh, if we talk about the body we give the product id here integration details for the v center so as the nsx integration details vcd and vrops integration details so these all products have to be deployed prior to this and finally the node details the usage meter nodes what do you have will be deployed the deployment infrastructure the vCenter details the uh, network and the data store details where it will be deployed as you can see here so another option is to import uh, usage meter if you have any existing uh, environment and you want to manage that using VMware Cloud Provider Lifecycle Manager you can import it and you can go ahead there's an option wherein you can view the existing environment here so I'll show you that so get LCM environment so you can click here and get all the details of the uh, components when deployed what the LCM can see and then you can manage those so that's all about the import function next we can uh, upgrade the usage meter um, similar to without tenant app we need to have this uh, OV files copied in the repository and then we can upgrade the usage meter to the latest version and please make sure that you follow the product documentation for each of these products to make sure that you are following the right product upgrade path for this well talking about managed certificates like uh, we can get the certificate information of the existing usage meter or the existing certificate and we can also update uh, certificate for the usage meter as well the managed nodes we can get all the usage meter nodes get a single usage meter nodes and also update uh, usage meter node as well finally rabbitmq we don't support an upgrade but we help in the deployment as well so here you can see that we can create a rabbitmq environment so these are the RabbitMQ load balancer name with the user details node details uh, like how many nodes you want to deploy with the IP details and uh, deployment infrastructure the vCenter details where it will be deployed with the network and storage options now we have a similar import option wherein you can import the existing configuration of uh, RabbitMQ which is already deployed and manage that using this tool if you see here we don't have any upgrade option but we can manage certificates we can get certificate of RabbitMQ and we can update certificate as well you see here get all the nodes get a single node with these options so these are all the tasks which can be performed using VMware Cloud Provider Lifecycle Manager 1.1 for more details Feel free to reach out to our Slack channel as mentioned here and refer the documentation as mentioned earlier in the links. Thank you for watching this video.